Hello, welcome. How are you? My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. Welcome if this is, uh, you know, welcome back or welcome if this is the first time here. Today I thought it would be fun to do another what I took on my trip travel makeup bag. I feel like I'm getting more and more efficient each time at packing what I need. Uh, so on the weekend, I just, last weekend, I just went to Adelaide for a wedding. So this is sort of like what I packed in preparation to do makeup to be at a wedding and like get really drunk and sweaty and gross. And that is why I'm behind in like all, all things. I'm behind in YouTube. I'm behind in cleaning up. I'm behind in just everything. Anyway, so I thought, hey, let's um, get some content and <laughs> unpack what I packed. So my bag that I use, I bought from, it's a Thin Lizzy bag that I got in Priceline on special. I didn't realize how amazing it was going to be until I got it. It has a little bag, like, it's just, it's super handy. I can see everything. It's got this cute little bag. I sort of change up where I put things all the time. Well, shall, we, shall we be boring and talk about brushes first? Why not? Let's talk about the tools. The tools I took with me. So I do have quite an extensive brush collection, which sometimes it gets like a bit overwhelming. But I took my super sponge from, like I need to make a video on this. But this is the super sponge. I took this, I used it and it did a great job. Uh, I took some of my favorite brushes and I'm not sure what it did. I took my MAC 170 and my Zoeva concealer brush. Um, these are just ones I use for my base as well as I use the super sponge for my eyes. Oh, I've got my benefit precisely in here as well. I do love that just for how simple it is to put your brow down. I took solely my eco tools blush brush. I just love this for its domedness and it's super easy to put on bronzer blush and yeah, you can tap on a bit of highlight. I'm pretty sure I use this for my highlight. This is my Sigma E35. <laughs> Uh, it, and I did it, yeah. I find that if I use a big brush sometimes it's just like I don't need that much space anyway. Brush wise, I don't remember using that brush. So I used my Sony G Worker One brush. This is like one of my favorites. I talk about it all the time. I should shut up about it. But it, it's just a reliable brush. But I also you took my e.l.f. crease brush, my Morphe M506, and my Wayne Goss number 17 brush. And these are the ones I used for my eye look. Predominantly. I did use the Sony G to blend it out, but it wasn't working too well. I did a, I'll put a picture. This is the look I did. A blue one with a gold halo eye. Um, had a lot of fun playing with it. I always take my Mecca Max brush cleaner with me. It's just super handy if I'm going to do multiple eye looks. I can spritz them and wipe them off and they are clean. My Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is in D-Slick. Specifically D-Slick. I get quite oily and sweaty. So I did uh, the trick of putting your primer down, then putting your setting spray down, and then foundation, and then setting spray again, or then powder, and the rest of the face, and then setting spray to finish. And it worked be a treat. For my powder, I've been loving this all the time. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I don't know. I have now tried the Laura Mercier powder. I don't know. This is... Like for the price and the amount of product I've got, it's just so easy to use. I really enjoy it and it really works a charm. I took my eyelash curlers. I always forget these. So I was pretty impressed with myself. But what I find a lot of the time is that I will take, I will always forget something. Last time I forgot mascara. One time I forgot like eyeliners and it's just super annoying. So I made sure to have a list in my head of like every single product I could potentially take. So you will notice there's doubles of stuff. But these are like the favorites in my collection, I would say. Well, not, I don't know. So I took the Femrosa palette. I didn't actually end up using it, but I do love this palette. This one is virtually untouched, but my previous one I gave away to my sister and I, I've regretted it. I regretted it because I love this color scheme. And looking at the new ColourPop X's and O's palette, I think I wouldn't mind the X's and O palette, but I thought this would be nice if I went for a more dreamy, romantic look, if that makes sense. And the palette I ended up using was the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker. This is one I actually haven't done many videos on. I've used it a fair bit and I do really like it. Um, I just feel like I totally missed the boat and I don't know. Like I was so hyped for this palette and it came down. But look, this is a beautiful, colourful palette. I'm super in love with it. I used the shade Delicious and then Lemon Drop. 
predominantly. I don't remember what else they did, to be honest. But it worked beautifully and I just love. For mascara, this is no surprise to you, Benefit Bad Girl Bang. It's reliable. I really enjoy it. From my Tribe Cosmetics thing, I knew I had one missing, but I took this blush down. I didn't actually end up using it. I'm not sure. Oh, no, I did. I remember. I put it on, but it's a bit red. But let's put it on now. So this is from Cargo Cosmetics, and it is in Laguna. Yeah, it's just very pigmented, and it, I don't know, I look very sunburnt, I think, with this. Um, I sometimes, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm better with a blendable. I'm better when it's blendable. But I love the packaging of this. It's super cute. Like, you know, like when it's a, yeah, blendable, buildable blush. I don't know. It's kind of working now that I'm blending it out a bit more. I took my KKW Contour Stick in Light. I really love this one. And I'm waiting for it to finish. I feel like I use this all the time and it's still, like, got, like, really, I mean, I remember when this came out and there was so much controversy that it didn't have much product. But this has lasted me ages. I'm, like, I don't do full glam looks a lot. But I do, I feel like I contoured this a reasonable amount. I did take down, oh, I forgot about my Stila Rose Gold Retro. And, um, I didn't use it. My Hourglass Ambient Lining Powder. This is sort of, I don't know. It's been, like, I worked it for a bit. This is probably one of the only products that has a bit of pan going on in it. And I did use it. I'm not even sure, like, how I feel about it. I just, I don't, I'm not convinced it does anything, really. I know it sounds bad. I took my Pineapple Sun Too Faced Duo, and this is what I use for bronzer and highlighter, and I love this. It's such an easy to use little palette, and it's like cute. I don't know. I really like it. It's perfect for my pale ass, and I can't really go wrong with it. For primer, I took my sample size of the Fenty Pro Filter. This I saw is, well, it's called Soft Matte. But are they now calling this the moisturizing one and the new one the mattifying one? I don't know. I love this primer and I'm oily, so I'm confused about the primer situation. If you can let me know, like, what's going on. Because it looks like they renamed them. Because this one is the, yeah, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer in Soft Matte. And now they're hydrating and mattifying, but the mattifying one is new. Oh, I did take my Enlightened from Mecca Cosmetica powder. I believe I did use this one as well. Let's put some more on now because I can. It's just a really nice highlighter and I got this as my birthday gift from Mecca. Because they're just, they're sweet like that. For my foundation, this is one I've been loving a lot lately. The Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation in Alabaster. This lasts really well and it's just, I really like it. Apparently it's a bit temperamental, different skin types. I don't know. I've not had any problems. I did used to have the Vanish Foundation Stick actually. It's still here, but I'm too oily for this one, whereas the liquid works really well for me. But I do recommend just getting a sample for it if you can, if you're interested in trying it. But yeah, I do like it. I took my Flower Beauty Peach Primrose blush. This is just a beautiful, easy to go blush, and I do really like it. Did I use it? No, I didn't. I just like to have like a few backups. I took my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Shady Buck. Shady Biz. Did not use this one. And I keep meaning I really want to like force myself to use this. And this is the Colourpop Super Shock in Flexitarian. Oh, see, look. Oh, I was missing out. I don't know. I've got to start using this one more. That is like some glowy intense. I love it. All right. That makes me sad I didn't use it. Because uh, I went to Adelaide, it was quite cold at the moment. I made sure to pack some lip balm. This is the Frank Body. It's very nice and hydrating. It's like, there's just something about, I think, like, being heated all the time. I get super dry. And my lips always chap. So it was really nice for myself that I remembered that. I took my NYX Faux White in Vanilla. I figured whatever look I came up with this would look really nice. It's just a, like, is it a pastel? It's like a pastel yellow. That color there. For concealer, I took my Tarte Shape Tape. This is just a workhouse concealer. It like a workhorse concealer. It's just perfect. Oh, I recently bought the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in which shade is this again? In Orchard. That's the purple that's now on my hand. And 
one of my friends at work, she said she has re she has really oily lids as well, and she said they stay on really nicely. My first experience with them, not so much, but I'm not going to give up. Oh, I lie about the vanilla. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I'd packed two, but I also packed linen. And linen is the pink, the pale pink. That is the one I used. Yeah. So, because I'm... <laughs> I did make sure to wear my sunscreen, the Mecca Cosmetica, is it skin perfecting? To save face. SPF 50, this stuff is amazing and I really love it. For blush, I use the Cover FX Mo what was it? Mo Moave? Moave? I can't never say it. Wait, I can't say it. But this is, I put the blush on and the topper and it's just beautiful. I really enjoy those. I packed my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I've got like a few liners at the moment, but none of them are, I don't know, like getting me excited. Like the NYX Epic Ink Liner gets me. For lips, I wanted to make sure I had choices galore. So I took some of my favorite formulas down. So the combination I ended up wearing was Menagerie's... Woo Carry. What on earth does this mean? Amazonian Monkeys. <laughs> Lipstick. Uh, this lasted so beautifully and I really liked it. I topped it off with my... Uh, I've temporarily lost track of it, but I do have the box. So I just talked to the box. Um, I put it on just before and I'm so confused where I put it. I stood it up. That would be right. I topped it off with the Catrice... No. Cargo. Cass. Cass Cosmetics Luxe Lip Treatment Lip Gloss. This is in Milky Way. And it's just a beautiful iridescent shade. And it really... I really loved it. Um... Uh, I might as well. I can do. So that's the Menagerie shade. Just wait for it to dry down. I really like... I bought two or, two or three of her lipsticks and they are amazing. And then the gloss. I feel like it just adds like a super fun effect. It's quite iridescent. It's like a purple glitter in there. It's beautiful. My other lip choices I took just like in case. I grabbed my Stilla lip gloss. I, this was just like, because I need to force myself to actually use it. Let's put that in my shop stash. So I took my Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star. The Melted Matte formula is lovely and I do really like wearing it. And it's, that's a nice color. I took down my Colored Rain, one of my ones from my mystery box, and this is in Boss Babes. I saw Annette from Annette's Make a Corner talk about this me the other day that she was really enjoying it so I wanted to like give it a whirl and it's a nice shade I like it but on the day it wasn't what I was feeling I also took Jeffree Star's doll parts I took like three Jeffree Star lips okay that's doll parts there and strawberry crush and then yes ma'am so you can sort of see I was feeling very pinky mauve when I went down and then the color I ended up choosing, I feel like it needs to be swatched here as well. Is it what Wukari? Is that Menagerie lip there? So I don't know. I like them all. They're all a really great formulas and those are the ones that I probably would say are like my top. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope that was semi-interesting. It's all cleared out pretty well. And I can put this away until the next trip. Uh, thanks for joining me while I unpack my travel bag. I'm going to be testing all my eyeshadow primers soon. It's going to take like two weeks, I think. But I need to choose the eyeshadow palette to do it. I should have it off my Instagram stories at the moment to check it out. So if you could check out my Instagram and vote on the stories, I would absolutely appreciate it. And then, you know, like in 12 hours time, I think from, I don't know. Just <laughs> check out Prelary and see what's going on in my stories. If I have uploaded, um, I need some help choosing which palette to use because I'm it's the one I'm going to use like every day for like two weeks. So I would love your opinion. I need it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new here, I'd love it if you consider subscribing and let me know what you think of what I took. <laughs> I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Thank you.